Welcome back to Wiring Products. Today we're going to work on high amp circuit breakers. Okay, first off, I am going to put my circuit breaker to the side. This is going to be somewhat of a challenge because I'm going to use a box cutter to cut through the jacket on the battery cable. And you cut through and you can feel the copper in there. So you just slice through a little bit at a time and you have to be really, really patient. This is one of those be so patient projects. So I do a seam along the top and then I go around the whole thing. And it's slow and tedious, but you just go. So if I was sitting in my garage and had to do this, this is exactly how I would be doing it. Okay. I know I cut all the way through, all the way around, so it just takes a little bit of work to get it off. There you go. This goes on here, but what I'm gonna need is my big tool. Let me get that. This is a junior crimper. Open the jaws. Take your copper lug and stick it in between the teeth. And then you're going to take your cable and just put it right in there. And then squeeze it. So I'm pushing the handle down towards the table and it's going to go as far down as it can and when it does it's actually finished. You can't push it any farther and that is closed. So I open it back up, pull all the way back up, pull my lug out and there you go. It does not get much easier than that. Now I'm going to put my crimper away I'm going to pull out my heat shrink gun. This is my handy dandy. Love this thing. Really love this thing. And I've already got some heat shrink on my 4 gauge battery cable ready to go. You just bring it up just so it comes up to a right about there. It's just going to be on the neck and then I'm going to heat it up. Perfect. There you go. I am using a 50 amp today. You want to make one side and the other side disconnect in there so you have to open it and make them disconnect. So push that red button and this little lever will slide out. One side says aux, the other side says battery. You're going to hook up the battery side to your power source and you're going to hook up the aux to whatever accessory you're going to use. You'll see that there's a nut in there and I need to use one of these for a big majority of it due to my fancy nails. I'm just going to hook one of these on right now. I'm just going to put the battery one on. It really doesn't matter. You have it open so they're disconnected. It really doesn't matter which one you put on first at this point because you've got one no power going to it and two they're not connected to each other. So we've got one and then the other cord. Just snug it down. There you go. Let me hook up to my battery. I'm just going to hook it up and then I'm going to hook up 
my aux on this side. Okay. And then I have to close my circuit so everything connects again. And then I'm going to turn my power on and let's see if this light actually comes on. There you go. That completes the circuit. Yay! This is going to disconnect. You push this button and it disconnects inside this box. So I'm going to push it and that turns it off. And this lever that came out, you push that back in, push it back in, and you connect again. That is how you use one of our high amp circuit breakers. Thank you very much for spending time with us. For more information, go to wiringproducts.com.